After Bring Me to Life, I've been fascinated with Evanescence. Um, that that song, it was so good, and the fact that a nineteen year old wrote it, you know, that's why I put it in the thumbnail. Because that was kind of like the highlight of the whole song for me. The fact that a 19-year-old wrote that song and um, really sad song and, um, you know, to know her story and, you know, the fact that she was already kind of dealing with, you know, abusive relationships at such a young age. Um you know, it, it, it was just a good but just hard song to really digest. And um, y'all told me, look, when it comes to Evanescence, that's what you're going to get. Um, so just kind of strap in and, and get ready. So I'm excited. Today's video is called My Immortal. Um, it's an official music video. We got some visuals. Um, My Immortal so many ways to interpret that um i can't wait to to really hear more evanescence um i kind of get a gist and, and they they were classified as um goth rock i really don't think bring me to life was like goth rock i i mean not that i really know what goth rock is but you know, I just wouldn't classify it as goth rock, but, you know, to each his own, um, and the fact that a lot of their music is classified that way, I, I, I can't wait to hear it, because now this being my second song, I'll get a better, um, a better understanding of what goth rock is, so we'll do song research afterwards to see if this is indeed a goth song goth rock song but um yeah man that, like I, i'm i'm really interested to learn more about this band so i don't want to waste no more time let's get into it second because I, I I usually want to wait till after the song to know what it's about but I can I need the lyrics her voice is so beautiful and that piano like everything about this is like angelic and I I'm not gonna lie I got so enamored with her voice I, I really lost the lyrics but I, I definitely picked up the first line. I'm tired of being here, which, you know. Oh, wow. 
wow these wounds won't seem to heal this pain is just too real there's just too much that time cannot erase when you cried or wiped away all your tears when you screamed I'd fight away all of your fears and I held your hand through all of these years but you still have all of me mmm I don't know. I, I gotta I gotta hear some more. I gotta hear some more to know what she's talking about, but Amy Lee can sing. And I can't believe I can't wait to see the song research because the fact that she was nineteen would bring me to life. I really want to know how old she is here because she has such a mature voice. I don't even know if that's a real thing, what I just said, but she just sounds so in control for a 19, like even a 19 year old talking, you kind of like, you kind of just hear the immaturity in their voice. Like you kind of just know, you know, of course you got some real, real deep voice, 19 year old dudes and you know but for a 19 year old at least on bring me to life her voice just sounds so like i i i just gotta i gotta i gotta keep listening i gotta keep listening But you 
This woman can sing. I that's that's what I took away from this. I ain't going front. As beautiful as this song was, and I can't wait to. I'm I'm about to sit here and do the song research. All I could do is think about Amy's voice. This woman's voice is just. It's almost haunting. Like, it, like, it, it, like, and maybe it's just the song as a whole. Like, it has like a haunting feel to it. But it's like her voice, man. It, yeah. If you know what I'm trying to say, you know what I'm trying to say. From their debut studio album, Fallen, Wind Up Records, as the third single from the album, written by singer and pianist Amy Lee and guitarist Ben Moody. When they were 15 and 16, respectively, she wrote this at 15 years old. Like, like, you know how the level of just like, you know, a lot of people don't get presented their gifts in life at such a young age. Like a lot of people now as grown men and women don't know what their calling is or what they're supposed to do in their life, what they what what their God given talent is. The fact that she knew it as a child and was writing award winning music at fifteen years old. And I wouldn't be surprised if we do some more reactions to them and I find out she got songs she wrote when she was ten and five, like this is like this is insane. The fact that she's writing this quality of music at such a young age. Fifteen and sixteen. Uh, duh, 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 duh. Okay. Is the my Immortal is a piano power ballad. Okay, completely agree. With fictional lyrics about a lingering spirit that haunts someone. Definitely, I'm, I'm with that. Uh, the song received generally positive reviews. It was commercially successful, peaking within the top 10 over 10 countries. Number 7 on the Billboard Hot 100. A, a 15 and 16 year old wrote this song. And it was the number seven. Certified gold in the US and platinum in Australia. Received a nomination for best pop performance by a duo group. Nominated for a VMA. Man. Evanescence, man, their music. You got to be in a different type of mood. And when I mean mood, I mean like depression or sadness to listen to their music. Like, I couldn't imagine. Excuse me, I had something in my teeth. I couldn't imagine being in a good mood listening to this music. Um, it, it's 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 just so somber and so like it's not depressing. That's not the right word for it. It's not depressing, but it's just so sad. 
even when the tempo picked up and the day was going crazy, you know, the, the band, it's just such a sad song. And then you mix in Amy's vocals, and it's like you get chills almost. Like you, like I. Uh, whew, yeah, I, I uh, mm. Evanescence, man. They, you know what this song kind of reminded me of? What's that song I used to listen to? It was in Transformers. Um, the fray, is that in that? The fray, or fray? Um, don't let me go, don't let me go, don't let me go, don't let me go, don't let me go. I love that song. I completely. Damn it, what's the name of that song? Is that the name of it? Um, is it The Fray? I forgot the name of them. It's been so long since I heard that song. The Fray. Okay, now what's the name of the song? Don't let me go. Never say never. I don't know why. This song kind of reminded me of that. I don't know why. I just envisioned this song when I heard this. But, man, Evanescence is amazing. They two for two. Um, and for the visuals, their visuals are is is very... It almost reminded me of the Cranberries. Um, not Linger. Uh, Y'all know what I'm talking about. And their bombs, and their guns, and their... And honestly, Amy kind of remind me of Dolores. I don't know why. I don't know if it's the, you know, the woman in a predominantly male band or... You know, I, I don't know what it is, but they kind of remind me, the Irish version, of course, but Evanescence and the Cranberries kind of remind me of each other in a weird way. I don't know why. Again, maybe it's the, the, the music and the music videos and the setup of their band. Like, I don't know why, but Dolores kind of reminds me of Amy. Yeah, man. I like it. I enjoyed it. Very beautiful voice by Amy Lee. And um, she stole the show once again. That's that's my synopsis and my analyzation of this song. That's, that's all I got for you. Y'all let me know how y'all felt about it. As always, like, comment, subscribe. I appreciate y'all for watching. Until next time with Evanescence, peace.